Hey YouTube, this is Edward Underhill. I'm here on Saturday morning, August 6th. It is currently 3.33 in the morning Pacific Time and I just got back a couple of minutes ago from seeing Suicide Squad and um, by the way for anybody that is wondering, I just turned 22 uh, on Friday. So yay. Um, but Suicide Squad overall, I really enjoyed it. Um, this movie's been getting a lot of mixed reactions from people particularly critics and comic book fans alike. A lot of critics have been saying this movie's got awful. There's people that are defending it, like Kevin Smith, who says it's great. As someone who's accepted the comic book movie genre into his life in the last, you know, however, last several years, I thought this movie was fairly good. It wasn't perfect. Um, there were several things I thought they could have done better. One, obviously, being they could have introduced some of the characters a little bit better. Um, but overall, there were several high, um, highlights to this movie. One of them being a lot of the performances. Um, for me, definitely, the top two would have to be um, Will Smith as Deadshot and Margaret Robbie as um, Harley Quinn. Um, Will Smith really does a good job as Deadpool. Or not Deadpool, Deadshot. Um, you can totally understand why he does what he does. Um, and a lot of it is, is explained in flashback. Um, I won't give a whole lot of spoilers, but um, that is a significant one. So I do apologize for that. But um, Margaret Robbie walks a very fine line between sanity and almost... Um, crazy maniac at, in her performance as Harley Quinn and I absolutely loved it. There are several comedic moments in this movie that did get a laugh from the audience that I saw it with, but um, the movie, the other members of the squad were fairly good. Killer Croc and El Diablo I thought were great. Um, Jared Leto stole the fucking show as the Joker. I'm just going to say that right now. He did a great job for what he, for what we got out of him in this. Um, but uh, he was really good. Um, his performance, I would say, was one of the highlights of the movie. But um, in terms of the action scenes, they were all, some of the action scenes were a little rushed. Um, but I did enjoy the movie overall. Um, also, um, Viola Davis as Amanda Walker, who is the person who brings the squad together, was great. Um, again, you'll understand why when you watch the movie. But um, overall... I would give this movie probably a 7.5 out of 10. Um, I do think that it was fairly good. I think it could have been better. Um, I've heard rumors that we are going to be getting an R-rated version at some point down the road. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but if we are, I'm all in for that. Um, the, PG, the movie is rated PG-13, just to clarify for people who are wondering. It didn't hurt the movie as bad as I thought it would. But I do think it, the movie could have been better if it was R-rated. But again, I've heard rumors that we're going to get an R-rated cut of the movie down the road. Um, whether or not it'll see a theatrical run at this point, I don't know. Um, but again, we'll wait and see what happens. But I'm guessing it'll be included on the Blu-ray. But um, I this movie, I would say, take the critics' opinion with a grain of salt. I don't think the movie deserves all the hate it's getting. I don't think it was perfect, but I do think it was good. But um, there, there is a. I think some people need to realize there is a very distinct difference between the movies that DC puts out and the movies that Marvel puts out. Yes, Marvel's movies have had a better track record than DC's movies had, but I do think that this movie is very good. Um, I would recommend checking it out for sure. Um, won't talk too much about the 3D because the 3D really didn't. There wasn't really anything noticeable about the 3D version that I saw, which was the Ultra AVX version. But it was still fairly good. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, again, 7.5 out of 10 for me. Um, I w again, I just think that the critics could have been a little bit kinder to this movie. I don't think it deserves all the hate that it's getting. But um, I did enjoy it. Um, but yeah... Uh, That'll do it for this review of Suicide Squad, guys. Um, leave your thoughts and comments, and comments below on what you thought of the movie if you've seen it. Um, I am going to be seeing Star Trek Beyond later today, so I will have a review of that up later this afternoon or in the evening. And I am going to try and get in a viewing of Batman... Of... <coughs> sorry. Um, of, I'm going to try and get in a viewing of uh, Batman the Killing Joke as well. And maybe do a review of that on Sunday, but... Um, 
Until then, thank you guys for watching the video. Be sure to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Leave your thoughts and comments below on what you thought of the movie, and I will see you guys later.